Good evening. A well-known Valley attorney ordered to prison. His clients now asking questions. But not getting answers. Channel 5's Angela Vargas took their calls and discovered what they need to do next. Angela? We received a lot of calls in our newsroom, clients of Noe Perez, asking us what will happen to their money and their cases. They tell us they couldn't get a hold of them. And when we went by his office today, we saw this yellow caution tape all around the entire building. The entrance to Noe Perez's office blocked. The building now on the market. This is just after Perez was sentenced last week to two years in prison, guilty of bribery after testifying against former judge Rudy Delgado. The Hidalgo County criminal records show Perez has hundreds of open, reopened, and filed cases. Some go back as far as 2002 and this current year. Phone calls came into our office from concerned clients. They tell us they couldn't get a hold of Perez by phone. They didn't want to go on camera in fear for their safety and the outcome of their cases. Clients also went to his office only to leave with no information. They turned their concerns and questions to us. What happens to their case when the one person representing them needs his own attorney now? If I were a client and I, was being, I had an attorney that was being charged, I'd just be very careful. Attorney Chris Cavazos explains what clients can do in this situation. If you can't get a hold of him, that's an issue. What I would do then is send over a certified letter asking him what's going on with my case, etc. Then send that letter to the state bar informing them of the issue. Right now, the state bar of Texas website says Pettis is eligible to practice. So we reached out to them and found out Pettis' status may change soon. The office of the chief disciplinary counsel sent us this statement. So now that Mr. Pettis has been sentenced, we can proceed with compulsory discipline where we seek disbarment based on the conviction slash sentencing. In the meantime, however, if his clients paid money to him and he failed to perform work and didn't refund unearned fees, they should file a grievance with our office. That's the first step in the process. Cavazos explains the clients still need to move forward with their cases. It's imperative that the clients do show up because if they don't show up to court, and there's an active criminal case, a warrant could be issued for the arrest. We called Pettis' phone number too. The mailbox belonging to is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. Please try again later. Goodbye. At this time, the State Bar of Texas staff advises clients to contact any of Pettis' staff members to get their files and get a refund so they can look for a new attorney. If they can't, they need to file a grievance. We'll have a link to the State Bar on our website at krgv.com. In the Channel 5 News Studio, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 10.